Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this swivel transition effect in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have two videos in my project. Let me drag these to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. Alright, so now we'll have to create a transition between these two videos at this point. So in order to do that, let us first create a new item called adjustment layer. Click OK and drag this adjustment layer onto the top of our video just like this. So now if I zoom in a bit, Click on this video and click on the down arrow key just so that you get to the um, to the point where the transition is going to happen between two videos and go to around 8 frames backward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and cut the adjustment layer here click the down arrow and go 8 frames forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frames forward and simply cut this yeah, like this so now go to the point where the transition is happening at this point uh, from the effect controls simply type I'll go to the FX panel and simply type an effect called 3d so you have this basic 3d in the perspective folder of effects and uh, drag this onto our adjustment layer like this once you add this onto your adjustment layer, you can see that this basic 3D effect is applied and you have this setting called swivel. So at the last frame of this video, go one frame before the transition at this point and uh, change the swivel to 90 degrees, I mean the 90 value and click on this timer button here and go to the first frame of the adjustment layer and set this value to 0 so now if I start playing this you can see that this kind of effect is seen on the video here so click on the down arrow key here so that you go to the center of this transition and change the swivel value to negative 90 degree negative 90 yeah it's 90 deg negative 90 degrees and move to the last frame here and set this value to 0 so now if you notice this is how the transition is going to happen let me play this once again just so that you can have a clear idea all right so this is how the transition is going to happen in order to make it look quite better let's type uh, an effect from the effect controls simply type directional blur and drag this directional blur effect onto our adjustment layer and change this value of uh, direction to 90 and change the blur length to your desired amount for me it looks good if this is 60 all right so if i start playing this this is how the transition is gonna look like 